This Q&A video is sponsored by Champagne Toast, which is the candle I'm lighting today because this video is about to be lit. You honestly think Paige is your friend? Is that so hard to believe? That for once someone cool likes me? She's just using you, Manny. No, you're just jealous. Jealous of that pretentious wannabe? Hi, hello, welcome back. Sorry this took so long. I have one, been so tired, again. Two, we've been dealing with a lot of storms in Maryland the past two days, so like power's been iffy here. But today it's nice and sunny. I don't see any weather in the forecast right now, except nice and sunny and a nice summer day. So I'm finally gonna sit down, answer all your questions from Twitter and YouTube for this Q&A video. Also, I wanted to thank everybody once again for 6,000 subscribers. I actually don't know the correct number right now, but we're past 6,000 subscribers. We're closer to 7,000. That's insane. Again, I'm glad that y'all like my vibe. I'm only here for the positive vibes. So without further ado, let's get this Q&A started. Hey, what is up everybody? Yes, I returned to your phone, your computer, your TV, your tablet, your laptop. I don't know what you're watching me on right now, but welcome back to all of you legends. It's me, it's Malcolm, and today. Today, there's no drama going on. There's nothing I have time to talk about. I decided for 6,000 subscribers, I guess you can call this a 6,000 subscriber special, whatever you wanna call it. I wanted to give new people that have subscribed since my last Q&A a chance to air, uh, ask some questions this time. So we have another q and I have a bunch of questions. Uh, one had me stuck for a good minute and it's like literally the first question I answer. I think I gave a good answer, so just bear with me. I'm excited, I'm ready to get through all these questions. I had to find a screenshot of, for one of my questions, which I'll get to. And without further ado, let's do this. I'm gonna start on Twitter first and then I'll go to YouTube just to make it easier and like keep in a sequential order as much as I can. So, Justice for Anna Campbell's exes says the following, favorite Degrassi moment. And there's only one, and I only mean one acceptable answer to this question. My favorite Degrassi moment is Manny Santos. Nothing she does, she's, she herself is the moment. It took me so long to really think about that, but literally anything I could think about involved Manny Santos. So just to make it like extremely easy, Manny Santos is my favorite moment from Degrassi. And if you really want something specific, it's when she was like, I don't want to be boring, I want to be hot. And then she like took off her clothes that she wore from home and she was like walking around. Um, I'm not gonna show the clip because YouTube will uh, demonetize me, I think. <laughs> um, but pretty much Manny's in like this blue thong, the legendary blue thong, and like she's killing it. She's walking down the hallway and all these boys are turning around. And I was like, this is not realistic. And then like when I was in high school, I remembered a girl did kind of like the same thing. And I was like, you know what? That's kind of realistic. Yeah, Manny Santos is the moment, my favorite moment from Degrassi, period. Thank you. Also, Cassie Steele, if you're watching this, I am single and ready to mingle. She's definitely not watching this video. She probably doesn't even know who I am, but that's fine. Savannah, and if I have not shout out Savannah enough, follow Savannah's YouTube channel. I will link it again because I think she's dope. Savannah asked, and if you have, you only have to watch the video to get the reference. She was like, do you prefer your pizza boneless or bone in? And then that question got followed up. Like this is a thread. It's like a three part thread. I'm gonna answer all three. The second part is, do you like salad with or without lettuce? Follow that with Sydney saying, do you eat your corn with or without bone? And just to make it clear, I hate anything bone in. That's not a joke. I don't like bones. So chicken wings, I can't stand. Boneless wings are the only thing I can really eat because one, I'm afraid to bite into a bone and crack my teeth because like that can happen. And two, I've choked on a bone from poor. So ever since I've choked on a bone, I've never gone back to bone in anything ever again. It just like, like it was a traumatizing feeling. So I was like, I'll never eat bone in stuff ever again. Plus I feel like eating bone in wings and stuff is actually a, like a little bit too messy for me. 
And I like to eat clean, like I don't like making a mess, so no thanks. Boneless pizza is the only way to go. And if you're like, that doesn't make sense, just look up boneless pizza on YouTube. I can't show any clips because I'll get demonetized, but it's the funniest video I've ever seen. You need to watch that video by Sethical, I think. Funny dude, and I still think he does like those skits to this day. Kills it. Boneless pizza, boneless salad, boneless corn. Thank you very much. We have Hannah who has a four part question because like I didn't put a limit on it. Obviously I don't care. So this is a four part question and Hannah writes the following. Do you have siblings? If not, do you wish you had one? What's your favorite Jackbox game? Favorite movie? And go to snack food. I have a lot, I have a lot of answers to the snack food thing, but if I can only pick one, I'll get to that. Let me answer the first question. Do I have siblings? Yes, I have an older brother. Uh, he's like four or five years older than me. We do keep in contact here and there, not as much as I guess other family does, but I'm really more of like a loner kind of person when it comes to family for a lot of reasons that I will not get into. Yeah, I do have an older brother. And if I didn't have one, I would like a sister. I don't know. I just think having a sister would be dope, especially if she could tell me if a girl was into me or not. She's like, yeah, she's not into you. And I would just be like, okay. If I wanted someone, I would want a little sister, bigger sister, does not matter. Sisters are dope, period, end of story. Favorite Jackbox game? I think it's in the last pack, which is the most recent pack. I think it's called Talking Points where literally you could say whatever you want. You just have like this prompt and it's like a speech prompt or whatever. And you just like talk. And I just make jokes on the spot. And like, it's like, it's like a stand up comedy act, but not a stand up comedy act. And like we, like me and my friends, we make it funny without even trying to make it funny. So I think that's my favorite Jackbox game. Anything where I can make jokes is my favorite Jackbox game. Uh, any trivia games, like I'm not a big fan of because I'm not that smart. <laughs> But uh, anything where I can make my own jokes up, please give me that. Thank you. Favorite movie? My favorite movie is actually, it's a Disney movie. It's a Disney movie. And a lot of people probably don't even know what this movie is, but like I'm obsessed with this movie. I could literally watch the movie over and over again, which I have to the point where I have, like remember every scene in this movie. My favorite movie is The Mighty Ducks. And I was thinking about doing a video on this a while ago and I still might because The Mighty Ducks literally changed my life but like for the better because I love that movie so much. Like I even have like some of the jerseys from the movie in my closet. You've probably seen, if you watch my older videos, you've probably seen me wear them. But yeah, The Mighty Ducks, favorite movie of all time. Now favorite animated movie, Toy Story. You cannot argue with me. You can try to argue with me. Toy Story is my favorite animated movie ever. Like, bar none. And my go-to snack food. Oh, I haven't had really a snack food in such a long time. I only eat like once a day at this point because I'm always so busy or I'm always too tired to eat. Um, but right now, I'm like, I'm really digging cereal bars and actually, I actually have uh, some cereal bars next to my bed right now because I'm insane. It's not just Cocoa Puffs. I love the Golden Graham cereal bars. If you had the Golden Graham cereal bars, you're a legend because those were like the old school ones. I had those since I was a kid. And like, I think they revamped the flavor when I got older. So any type of cereal bar snack, I will crush. Chips, there used to be some chips that I liked and one being Fritos Lay Barbecue, but the Fritos barbecue chips uh, have been discontinued since 2019, 2018, and I didn't realize it was. So it was kind of disappointing when I found out it was, and I was just like, and I actually looked on Amazon to see if there was any being sold. And yes, they are selling Frito barbecue chips for like $10 a bag. And I was just like, I don't want chips that bad. But, dot, 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 if I was that down that bad, I would pay $10. I would, <laughs> just being honest. So thank you, Hannah, for the four part question. I hope that satisfied you. So we have Ariana here who asked, where would you most like to travel to for vacation? 
I will answer this in two ways. I'll answer it in places I've been to and places I haven't been to, to give you like a perspective. I've only been to Orlando, North Carolina, uh, pretty much all up and down the East Coast, except anywhere like in the Northeastern area. Favorite place I visited would probably be Orlando and probably Disney World or Universal Studios, uh, places like that. Favorite place to vacation, cause like, I've always wanted to go on the Disney Resort. I went there when I was a kid, when my family went, but as an adult and like, realizing how expensive it is. I think one of my goals, if like I make it on YouTube, is to go back to Daisy World and have like the full experience as an adult. Cause like, I've never been to downtown Disney, which is like somewhere I heard that was just so fun and I never got to go cause I was like too young. But I would definitely like to go to downtown Disney, uh, places like that. Uh, Universal Studios was like like the upgraded version of Disney. It's like like the rides are better things like that pretty much uh, And I've actually never been to SeaWorld So if I do go back to Orlando, I would like to go to SeaWorld because I heard that place is nice, too And they actually have roller coasters and stuff which I didn't know I thought just thought it was like a, like on a glorified aquarium area Which I was completely wrong. So yeah, Orlando definitely my favorite place to travel for vacation now somewhere I wanna go, and I'm finally going this year, so like, if you haven't seen me tweet about it on Twitter, you're hearing it from me now. I'm going to California for VidCon in October, and I think VidCon is in Anaheim and the convention center, and like I've only been to Cali once, but I don't remember because I was a kid. So I'm definitely going up to Cali for a lot of days. I wanna enjoy everything, I wanna to go to Disneyland, I wanna to go to Six Flags, I wanna to go to uh, Universal Studios out there. Like, there's so many things I wanna do out there. I'm excited, I'm finally gonna like live out my childhood dream, I guess. Like, I've always wanted to go on the West Coast, I've always wanted to live on the West Coast. I haven't had a chance to live on the West Coast just yet, but one day I hope, maybe if YouTube blows up, my YouTube blows up, I will move out there, but right now I'm stuck in Maryland. Like, I'm stuck in Maryland. Let's just say that. We have the platform Anna Campbell, which is a great name, by the way, who says, how do you like to relax and unwind? Hope I'm not too late, LOL. You are never too late. Like, even if you, like, asked a question, like, right now, I would probably stop recording, record that answer, and then come back. How I relax and unwind? I play a lot of video games and I do have a Twitch, which I do never promote because I just, uh, Twitch sucks, <laughs> like for a lot of reasons, but it's like one of the only streaming services that will let me stream because I tried it on YouTube. It didn't quite work out. I play on Twitch. I play Borderlands. I play my PlayStation 5 and I just have a lot of fun and there are some days where I don't mean to play for like hours and then I actually do or if I'm like having a stressful day, um, I just like to blow stuff up in video games. Um, but yeah, video games are like the number one way I unwind. It's not for everybody, I get it, but for me, video games. Or I watch Super Sentai, which is the Japanese Power Rangers, pretty much. I mean, sweet hat back there. Like, look at that helmet from one of my favorite series, by the way. So yeah, either I'm watching Japanese Power Rangers Super Sentai or playing video games only ways I really online we have my who asked do you like ice cream yes I do and what kind um I don't know if you're asking for my favorite flavor or like the flavors I like to eat but I will just go with the flavors I like to eat chocolate chocolate with cookies uh like chocolate cookies and cream regular cookies and cream not mint uh, not mint, um, anything not mint, or that has nuts in it. But pretty much any other flavor, I will try. Uh, Napoleon, like, I I'm okay with Napoleon, it's just when I get to the strawberry flavor, like, I'm, it's like, it's like, I, I think it's like the pulp of the strawberry, or like, the seeds of the strawberry, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm a per type of person that, like, when it comes to texture, if I don't like the texture, I don't like it. So a lot of times, I will stop at the strawberry. I will only eat, I can eat vanilla, I can eat chocolate, cookies and cream, chocolate cookies and cream. 
uh, but it's just something about strawberry that just does not sit right with me. I can't explain it. But uh, yeah, favorite flavor though, cookies and cream. You can't argue with me, sorry. Number one flavor, period, end of story, thank you. Oh my God, we have Hello Alice. Speaking of Alice, I love Alice. Made a TikTok, like pretty much Duncan and Anna Campbell. One of my favorite TikToks of all time at, to this point. So if you haven't follow Alice on Twitter, follow her now. Follow her on TikTok. She's hilarious. She's great. Shout out to you, Alice. Much love to you. She asked, how are you so cool? Oh, that's my question. I eat a lot of vice. Somebody out there is like, is that really his answer? Yes, that's my answer. <laughs> I don't, people say like, I'm a cool person. I'm like, I, I don't know. I, I I just talk the way I talk. I believe the things I believe. I am who I am. If there's like an a concrete answer besides me being <laughs> a jokey jokester, I just, I give positive vibes. That's what I'm all about. I never want anybody to feel uncomfortable over here. That's never my goal. Uh, except Gabby Hanna fans, Eddie Campbell fans, James Charles fans, David Dover fans. Um, y'all, y'all can feel as uncomfortable as y'all want. I really don't care. Everybody else, though, I want you to feel comfortable. I want you to feel welcome. I'm all about the positive vibes. That's why I joke around a lot because, like, I joke around a lot. <laughs> there you go, Alice. That's why I'm so cool. I eat a lot of ice, and I'm just, I, I, I just like to make everybody feel the positive vibes. There you go. We have Caitlyn. And Caitlyn, I stan, I super stan Caitlyn. She asked, how do you come up with content? I've tried to keep a YouTube channel growing and I get stuck on content. That is an, actually a great question. How do I come up with content? Honestly, at this point, when I'm making like my commentary videos or like things like that, I usually wait for like all the information to come in at first. And then I find stories that like I can relate to which is why it's like hard for me to like, I think her name is Creepshow Art, whatever. Like I have zero knowledge about that person, right? If I am to do a video on that, and I hope I can do one soon, I really need to start from zero. The reason why my commentary videos have been okay so far, I'm not gonna like say I'm like demolishing anybody because we all have our different styles. The reason why like it's easier for me to make content in like that kind of sense is because I already have knowledge of situations or I have knowledge of stuff already. If you are stuck on something, go with something like you have a lot of knowledge of or like something you can relate to or you feel like a lot of people can relate to you that you have prior knowledge of and just go with that. Um, you'll Usually the audience will follow. Um, the hardest thing is to start from zero. Like every YouTube channel starts from zero. Yes, I know some people have a following before they go on YouTube. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the people that actually had to work and blow up and like grind it out. People like that. The audience will find you and they will follow you when like, just give it time. Give it time, it'll happen, it'll come, but people will come. I wasn't expecting people to really subscribe when I did my video on Gabby Hanna a couple weeks ago. I was like, I've literally done the same thing I've done every other video it just seems like this video like it hit the algorithm right way like people like interacted with it like a lot so it got recommended and i still think it's getting recommended but like it's not getting as many views as it is now than before just keep doing what you're doing and just like if you feel stuck try to think about something that you really like and just go with it because sometimes when I do these commentary videos, I don't have a script. <laughs> like, I don't. <laughs> Justice for Anna Campbell's exes is back, and they asked the following. I want to know your most embarrassing moment. Well, anytime I fall in love. That's not a joke. That's embarrassing. <laughs> because uh, I always get my heart broken. So... Yeah, so I think that was it for all the Twitter questions. Now we're gonna move on to YouTube where I have like a lot more. So if you made it this far, if you like what I had to say so far, I'm glad you did. Now we're on to YouTube. So here we go. We have Aria or Aria who asked, Zodiac sign, personality type. I've actually done uh, my birth chart in the first Q&A. So um, 
if you have it, just click on that. But just like to give you a rundown, my big three are my Sag Sun, because I was born on December 9th, 1993. Uh, my Scorpio Moon, because I like chaos. And I'm a Virgo Rising, so I like chaos. We have Meg Vlogs who asks, do you like rock or pop better? P.S. I love your vids, and if I have spelled anything wrong, please tell me. It's it's the way that music now I can't tell which is which is which genre anymore. But I think I was more of a pop person because I used to like NSYNC, like I like people like groups like that. Like a lot of people were like, oh my god, Backstreet Boys. I'm like, no, Backstreet Boys sucked. NSYNC is where it's at. Um, I might get canceled for that opinion, but it's an opinion, so don't hate me too much i think pop was more of my thing um that's how i really got into dancing because i think at school dances it was more so pop music um i think chris brown was qualified as pop even though a lot of people say he wasn't pop he was r&b like that's i don't know like i don't know music like that but like chris brown was quote unquote pop so i guess you could say i like pop better i do like rock music though especially like ACDC, Metallica, which is like not rock, but it's more so like heavy metal. Anything with sick guitar solos, I like. We have All That Jazz, who asked a really good question. Which YouTuber would you love to collaborate with? Um, there are plenty I would love to collaborate with, but the number one person is, I've said his name before, I will say it again, Colin Barry is the number one person I would love to collab with. Um, love his energy, he's a good spirit, good dude, and like, we're both hilarious, so like, oh, I feel like both of us in the same room would be hilarious, and I've actually remember, like, having, like, long conversations with Colin all the time, and like, people were like, you guys should have a podcast, like, you guys have great podcast voices, and I'm like, I guess we do, because, like, we always have opinions on stuff, and like, we're not afraid to speak our mind, neither of us. So like, both of us in the same room, I think we would like tear the house down. Colin, if you're watching this, let's collab one day. <laughs> like, if you come to VidCon and I go to VidCon, um, let's collab, for real. We have Jay Thompson who asks, what's a place you've never been to and that you like to visit and why? I think I already answered this question a little bit earlier, but this is worded a little bit differently. A place I've never been to I like to visit, Tokyo, Japan, because one, I love anime. Uh, two, I love Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> um, um, speaking of Yu-Gi-Oh, does anybody want to duel? I have two mats, and if you want to duel me, just let me know. I have like three decks that I've made already. Uh, um, I've made them like a couple years ago, and they still are baller. So if you want to duel me, just let me know. Also, I want to go to Tokyo because like, I heard the food was amazing, the candy is dope, and it's like you can't get that kind of candy anywhere else in the world, which is like, it makes sense because there's stuff here in America that people don't have around the world. So if like you say like, it's the fact that I don't know what we have that other people don't, I really don't know. Um, you say like a certain McDonald's item because I know it changes like from region to region. But I know like McDonald's is like a localization thing. So like, I definitely want to go to Tokyo because I feel like I would have the most fun. It's got like bright lights. It's like colorful. Um, it just seems like a fun, fun place to really be. So we have Morgan who asks a lighthearted question that says, what is your Patronus? And I actually had to find and screenshot this. This is what I was talking about earlier. So my Patronus, and I will show it here, is a wood mouse. wood mouse. I really don't have anything else to say. It's a wood mouse. And then the next question they ask is, what are your plans for your channel? And how do you class classify your channel as it is? Uh, love your videos. Hope your day is fantastic. Thank you, Morgan. You are so polite. One of my plans for this channel, honestly, I don't know what my end goal is. I just go day by day with it. Uh, one day I feel like doing a story time. Another day I want to do a commentary video. Another day I want to do a vlog which I really need to get back into because Six Flags near me opened up the new ride and I actually wanted to vlog about it. Never had a chance to because the day I was supposed to, it rained, so I never had a chance to go after that. But I definitely wanted to vlog more. I, I just want to be one of those people and I think, I think this is what I wanted to do because I don't have a second channel and I made sure of that 
on purpose. I might change my mind later, I don't know. My goal has always been to be like this all around YouTuber um, that like, if I have, if I could just do something, it could be relatable. And what I mean by that is like, I remember for me, this is probably like a Mandela effect. I could be wrong. I remember YouTubers not really having a second channel that really wasn't a thing people did back in the day. Like everybody really did their own thing on one channel. But I think as your fan base grows and like they're like tuning out when you like do certain videos and then the YouTubers like okay I'll make a second channel for vlogging only or like I'll make a second channel for my music or things like that like I would I want YouTube to go back to just one channel one person because at the end of the day it is one person so I find it more hectic to have multiple channels and like Peter Mon who I've talked about like plenty of times before has six channels don't know how you manage that don't know how you do it I don't know how I would be able to do six channels manage six channels because I will be very confused but Peter Mod has it down so big congrats to Peter Mod for that but I just want this I just I guess my goal is to just be an everybody channel where like I could do anything I want on this channel and like people will subscribe like that's a fever dream. Like I know that's not realistic, especially now with YouTube, but that's kind of my goal. And how do I classify my channel? I think I already answered it in that last part. Uh, I'm just like an everything channel. Right now, yes, I am doing commentary, but sometimes I'll slip in a reaction video or like a vlog video or just like a story time video, which again, I would love to do more of and some people actually seem interested in it. I asked about it on Twitter. Um, so yeah, I just kind of want to do everything. I just don't want to be stuck to one thing. That's what I'm afraid of, but I definitely don't want to be stuck to one thing. I just want to enjoy posting whatever I want and just having fun with it. An Honest Conversation, which is a great name by the way, asked, what made you get into commentary? Um, honestly? Uh, Tana Mojo. I know you're probably like, wait, that doesn't make sense. Around this time last year, and it's actually about to be a year from that trash apology, if you remember which one I'm talking about. So Tana Mojo is a YouTuber who was called out by both Sibley Nessa and Colin Berry for her uh, racist microaggressions and racist past that she's never fully addressed. And she only made one apology about the whole thing and it was awful and I, I had enough of it. Like my reaction videos weren't doing so well anyway. So I was like, I finally want to get into commentary because I've always watched commentary videos. So I was like, let me have my hand at this. Let me try it, see if I like it. And it turns out I actually liked it. And I liked dunking on Tana Mojo because it was funny. I did it like three times. We cleaned two of my videos, by the way, and that sucked, which I've done a video about as well. Um, nobody really watched it, but it's fine. When Tana Mojo made that trash apology, I literally was like fed up and like literally that day, I just did a reaction to that and like people really vibe with it and I just kept it going since. We have Maddie who asks, if you're comfortable, of course, I'm so curious to know what you do for a living outside of YouTube. As we all know, uh, yes, I am monetized by YouTube, but I really don't make any money from my videos because a lot of them used to get claimed back in the day but now they don't because i stopped doing reaction uh content for now i am a server uh like a waiter at a restaurant i'm not gonna say which one uh and i'm partially a bartender but not really that's what i do for a living um that's where i ever make my money from like i said youtube is not my main source of income um yeah i serve Woo! the embassy network ask do you have any other type of content that you're interested in creating on YouTube? Would love to what makes you, you. And I already think I answered this kind of in a different question already. But I think I've already said it again. Anything that's just like, I feel like making that day. If I want to do a vlog, which of course I have to plan out because like, I can't do daily vlogs like David Dobrik who's trash. Can't do daily vlogs like that. I feel like that it takes a certain niche and like a certain audience to like, stick with that because if I just started doing like daily vlogs like there's nothing much you would see except me in my room just talking to myself and like that's not really a vlog that's just me talking to myself oh my god I would love to travel and do stuff with uh YouTube if like I could travel and make content I would if like YouTube would ever pay me which they would never 
pretty much if YouTube Rewind ever came back, I would love to be in one, but like, of course I have to grow to do that. Anything to get me on YouTube Rewind because like, it looks like it's a lot of fun, honestly. I've always wanted to do video game content, but I just don't have like the equipment to do that. So I couldn't really do it if, even if I wanted to, but that's something I've always wanted to do. And yeah, just pretty much anything I want to do. That's, that's why I'm here. That's why this channel really isn't like, it's Malcolm commentary or like it's Malcolm vlogs or like anything like that. It's just, it's Malcolm. That's it. That's who I am. <laughs> it's Malcolm. That's it. We have Katie who asked the following, your videos are commentary, but you usually tackle these issues as evergreen topics, such as comes from anyone, Anna Campbell, or using so much trauma to make yourself a victim is wrong, Gabby Hanna. My question is, do you hope to make an impact through your videos? I know you're sassy towards the stands, but do you hope to reach them? So this is like a two part question. Do I hope to make an impact with my videos? Yeah, kind of, that's kind of why I make them. But like, I also am not stupid or like ignorant to the fact that these stands and fans, like even if you like show all the evidence, if you show all the proof, if you show like any screenshots, like any real screenshots, they're not gonna believe it anyway, because in their head, anything that their favorite celebrity says goes and like it is it does get frustrating when you see all these stands and fans like literally use any type of deflection tactic any type of excuse to excuse gabby Hanna, james charles david dobrik anna campbell uh especially anna campbell like it does get frustrating but i don't really get like mad about it it's just more like like i don't know which more, what more i can say to you i think in my last gabby Hanna video which is like my video before this one like it gets, it got, I got to the point where it's just like, I don't know what else I could say to you, Gabby stands to really like get it, get it to you that she's not the one to follow. But I literally put out all the information that everybody else can find. That's like one of the, like the key things I do. I give out all the information that you could look up yourself. And if you came to a different conclusion than me, then by all means go for it. Do I hope to make an impact. Yeah, definitely. Do I hope to reach the stands? Kind of, but not really. I'm ex like, I'm more so expecting that I don't reach them because like, if you still support someone, even after all the terrible things that they did, that's on you. Like I've said it before, I used to be a Shane Dawson fan. Like I have his hoodies, like I have his hoodies. I think they're somewhere in this room. I don't wear it anymore, obviously. Um, I used to be a Gabby Hanna fan years and years ago until the Kenza cosmetic scandal and I realized like how narcissistic he was and I was just like not for me so I checked out right there and then never was an Anna Campbell fan um she definitely seems like someone I would never want to run into a dark alley with James Charles uh I was like a fan when I saw him do a collab with Lily Singh but now they're both cringe and they're both problematic in their own ways to me so I don't follow either of them David Dobrik I never really liked I never really got what the point of David Dobrik's vlogs were especially if they were like four minutes 20 seconds and I'm just like you could literally spend four minutes and 20 seconds you putting something in a microwave and you would like your day would have more value than watching a David Dobrik vlog but that's just me I would like to reach them but I'm I'm not ignorant to the fact that I probably won't and then we have Mari here who asks when did you start your channel and what made you want to be a youtuber so I started my channel I started like posting videos on YouTube years and years ago uh, some videos have been privated because like of the COPA law which is like the youth uh, which is like the kids protection act for youtubers which is basically like if your content is too kid friendly YouTube will demonetize you um, comments will be turned off and your videos won't get recommended uh, things like that so I used to do like sports stacking vids and if you actually look behind me I have my cups back there um, I still stack to this day, but I just have to be, I just don't post like, stacking videos anymore. Honestly, I wanted to be a YouTuber because I wanted to be famous. I mean, <laughs> that's what I wanted to do back in the day. I wanted to be famous. I wanted to get all the girls. That obviously did not work out because I am still single and I'm 27. <laughs> so yeah, that's, I think I started in like 2007 when like YouTube was like in its baby form. And um, yeah, that's why I wanted to start it now. I just want to like give positive vibes and like have people feel comfortable on this channel and just like we're here to have fun like I want y'all over here to have fun the only time I'll ever be like serious 
and like do like a full rant video. I've only done one on James Charles and Gabby Hanna. That's it. Everybody else I've kind of just had fun with and like made jokes about. I think I answered all the, I think I answered your question, Mari. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much where I was at. So I actually had a question while I was recording that thankfully I left my notifications on so I didn't have to stop and like re-record anything. So the last question of this Q&A is from Kelsey G who asked, how long have you lived near DC? Do you like where you live? Also, who was the first commentary channel you started watching regularly? I have lived near DC my whole life. Uh, I've been a DMV native since I've been born, so I really haven't gone anywhere else. Do I like it here? Yeah, I like it here. And what makes it so trippy is like DC is like a beautiful place to like visit and like go around and like visit the museums and stuff. I just haven't had time to, or like I like don't want to go alone because like you still have to be safe. Like even as a grown man, you still gotta be safe. You gotta watch your back. Like that's just the reality of it. But yeah, I do like it here. Um, when it gets cold though, I hate it here. <laughs> like if you've ever experienced Maryland cold, it sucks. And I know all the northerners watching this are like, uh, no, it's definitely colder up here. But when you're like having 90 degree weather in the morning, like humid 90 degree weather, and then it's like at nighttime, it's like 30 something degrees, like like a 60 degree difference. It sucks. <laughs> it really does. Especially if you have it out with, uh, especially if you have like a certain outfit you want to wear that day and like you can't wear it because you have to be mindful of the weather. It sucks. It really does. And the first commentary video I have watched regularly is probably Peter Mon. If not Peter Mon, Dusty Daily, uh, Viewer's Voice, Tea Spill. Uh, like those were the first those were like the main four I watched first I can't remember which one was first first but I do know those who like who were the first four that inspired me so we have reached the end of the Q&A session I had a lot of fun I hope you had a lot of fun um, this was great I love the questions that you asked hopefully we can do another one like this very very soon um, thank you again for 6,000 subscribers plus um, didn't think I would ever reach this number in a long time. I just do the videos I do and I just have fun with it. And, um, yeah. So thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being here. Uh, if I missed your question, which I literally think I got every last one, even the last one that got literally while I was recording. I hope I answered all your questions to the best of my abilities. And if I did not, you can always message me on Twitter. And if you want like clarification on anything I said, message me on Twitter uh, or Instagram um, or Snapchat, cause I put my Snapchat in the description as well. So, or if you want like a more in-depth answer and I didn't really satisfy your answer, please let me know. Like I would never, I don't want to ever like want you to feel empty. Like that was never my goal. That's never going to be my goal. And, um, yeah, so thank you very much. Um, glad you're here with me. Um, yeah, once again, it is Malcolm. That's me. I have a lovely subscription button up here. I also have two other videos over there for your own free time. Without further ado, I wish you well. I wish you good health. And I will see you again next time.